What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing three dropshipping stores. I'm gonna be telling you what I like about them, what I don't like about them, things that they could improve on, things that they did really well with. This video is gonna be perfect if you're looking for a good example of a dropshipping store. All right, with that being said, let's jump right into the first website. Okay, so this one is called Voltin or Volt, Volt, Voltlin, Voltlin. Okay, this one's called Voltlin, I think. So this looks like a pretty nice website. It's it's pretty minimalist. So what they're selling is a quartz crystal point water bottle. So they're selling it for $49.99. And if I, I can't remember exactly, but I think that you can get this probably for around $18. So let's break down this site a little bit, what I like about it, what I don't. Wow, I like I like this. This is cool. So like when you put your uh, little cursor over here, you got this rainbow light up thing or whatever. That looks pretty sweet. Um, on the left here, they've got all their socials, which is great, and then a phone number. That's pretty big, because if you have a phone number on the website, it really adds like a good amount of legitimacy in the store. It makes people feel safe checking out here, like they can contact you whenever they want. Uh, so I really like that. Uh, ships next day, which is nice. That's a good thing to add on a site because a lot of the times like drop shipping, like looking websites uh, don't have like next day shipping. So to clarify this, like if you can get a really good lead time on your product, uh, putting this out there is like a really good idea in my opinion. Um, what else do we have? A 30 day returns and lifetime warranty. Okay, I like this. This is clean. I like that the brackets are in between there. Um, we'll scroll down here to the product. So 10 reviews, we got the, this is very basic setup right here. We got like 10 reviews, 50 bucks, quantity, selector. We got the, the average add to cart button and then the express checkout button. So this is pretty standard, like nothing special about this. Um, it could be better, like they could add some apps on there to like maybe like highlight some certain features a little bit, but uh, other than that, pretty standard. Uh, we'll move on to the product photos. So the product photos, these are, these are nice. Uh, they're really clean. I like that most of them, they kept the theme of white. So like it's white and clear, white and clear. We got a blue one in here. Maybe to add some color pop, maybe they're using it for an ad. Um, this is really nice. This looks like, this is pretty much like white labeling the product, right? So they have like this brand, I don't, and I don't know if it comes in this exact box or whatever, but it's basically demonstrating that this is a brand and they might not even have this actually private labeled, but We'll see. Anyway, I like, I like it though. I, I like this photo, this is nice. This should be their main photo to be honest, but yeah, they look pretty good. No complaints there. Uh, product details are pretty good. Uh, they look a little AliExpress-y. It looks like a little copy and paste. They could be a little bit better. Uh, we got quartz, what, a, what about it? What quartz is all about? Um, Crystal Point water bottles is probably like a little bit about their brand. Okay, this is cool. We got charity, shipping, and returns. So like, these are probably like the most like frequently asked kind of questions. Um, you go to select a charity and they donate to it, which is really cool. I think that's a good idea. It encourages people to spend money with you because you're donating and they get a pick. That's, that's even better that they get a pick where their money's going. And then reviews. Um, reviews are good. Uh, they look really clean. These are very like standard AliExpress reviews, but uh, no, no hate there, I like it. Overall, the website looks really good. I'd probably give this like an eight out of 10. Uh, what could improve is probably the product details. Uh, maybe a little bit, just a little bit more detail, make it a little bit more like elegant. Um, it's a little plain, but maybe a little more social proof. So I don't know what kind of ads are running, but if they're doing any UGC or user generated content, this would be uh, super helpful to add onto the website, give it a little bit more social proof. But other than that, it looks pretty good. So again, eight out of 10. Next one is a custom photo 3D lamp. So this is like a very stereotypical drop shipping type of product, like a Valentine's Day or anniversary product, maybe Christmas gift or whatever. Logo, the logo is a little small over here. I'm not like, this isn't like a super welcoming website. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this website. Logo is tiny over here. And like the banner up top here is free shipping over 80 bucks free urgent shipping over 150, like whatever, What that just makes me think instantly like, okay, if I order the regular shipping, it's gonna take a long time because they have the option for urgent shipping. Uh, and that's a high price point too, so not a fan of that. And it's also stacked. So it's like not even, it doesn't look clean in my opinion. 46 bucks, that's a weird price. Like go for like, just do 45, 44.99, 49.99, 39.99. Uh, 46 is pretty weird and then USD. This just looks a little awkward. So not a not a huge fan of this website, honestly. You know, the product photos are pretty good. It's a little like cluttered in here. It's, kind of, it's giving me like a little bit of Etsy vibes. Um, I personally wouldn't buy from a website like this. Description, uh, it's a little light. We've got a little like grammatical errors in here. There's no space here when there should be a space. Uh, little stuff like that. So I don't like this. 
to be honest. So they, it looks like they just like set this up in like an hour uh, with not really like a lot of effort. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it. We got related products where reviews probably should be. Um, and no reviews actually. Okay, so no reviews, no social proof, cluttered pictures, bad logo, tiny logo. I'm gonna give this website a four out of 10. Pretty good product, but uh, it, they just didn't execute well. They just didn't put a lot of effort into this. They can make this a lot more personable and more customized of a site to really make you wanna buy from them. Uh, it, just, it just isn't there. All right, now onto the next one. Uh, probably my, this is probably my favorite product out of these three, at least. Not my favorite site though. But this one is a flame diffuser humidifier. It's a cool product already. So I, I already really like the product, but again, these logos, man, they're like so tiny. Like it's just awkward and small at the top. I don't, I don't know what professional website would have that small of a logo, right? You go on Nike, you go on Adidas, you go on anything at all, you go on Nordstrom, wherever you go on, they don't look like this. Like they're not, they don't have this small little logo. So really pay attention to that. That looks bad. Um, Straightforward, that is just awful. Flame diffuser humidifier. Okay, so the, the product title on this one um, is very straightforward. Like there's nothing like, this isn't branded at all. It's just flame diffuser, here it is. Um, and this allows me to be like, oh, there's probably other flame diffusers out there. I'm just gonna look it up on Amazon and get a cheaper price or whatever. Um, you wanna make it like more branded, like a more branded feel. Something like essential fire or fire essential. Just like a little, something a little bit as in like essential oils, um, but a little, just give it a little bit of like a brand feel, right? Flame diffuser, humidifier, like is very like AliExpress title. Buy two, save 5%. That is a terrible offer in my opinion. Like uh, three items, also a terrible offer. 13% terrible offer in my opinion. <laughs> just being so harsh on this one too. Um, no, but they're just not good offers. Don't take up all this space. For, for not having a good offer. Um, the product photos, they look like they're from AliExpress, but they're clean. So like you can use AliExpress photos, you don't have to take them yourself if they're good photos and they look clean like these. I like them, uh, no hate there. Product description, um, I like this, I like gifts. Like I like them on the product description. I think they look cool, especially if you can get like a TikTok and turn it into a GIF and put it in the product description. I think it's cool. It demonstrates a product, what it looks like in the the wild of the product, I guess. Humidifier and essential oil diffuser. Uh, I don't know about this. I'm not a big fan of this at the end here, really. Um, maybe at the top and then just add some photos. Like this, it isn't really well organized. They had the right idea, um, but it just wasn't perfectly organized in my opinion. Uh, no reviews, so you really want social proof. So you want reviews, you wanna have your Instagram blasted on your page. You want people to be able to click on it, but this has none of those. I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. But if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps me out and lets me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. If you want my top free 50 winning product list, make sure you're subscribed, leave a comment below, and then DM me on Instagram and I'll send you that top 50 product list. Feel free to DM me any questions on Instagram. I'm trying to get back to everyone. Other than that, I hope this video is helpful and you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.